not without a ghost rider, he doesn't. Max, how much weight have you gained? 85 pounds. Not bad, huh? Of course, it's taken a lot of dedication. It's taken a lot of dedication? I understand you've lost your job. No, actually, I quit. That's not what I heard. You would have been fired if you hadn't marched out of the office in what was described as a storm of egomania and self-importance. Arnold says you can't afford to have your feelings hurt while you're in serious training. You are quoting a bodybuilder actor? I wouldn't expect you to understand. I want to understand, Max. Look how you live. What's going on? How are you supporting yourself? Grandfather's trust. That money was for your graduate studies. Well, I look upon this as my graduate studies. Bodybuilding? You're going to become a professional narcissist? It's more than simply cosmetic, Mother. It's a, it's a way of life. Sit down, Max. Please. Max goes to sit down and bumps into a box. What's wrong with you? All this athletics and you are bumping into everything? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a combination of things, Mother. Well, first, I'm in the process of becoming oriented to my new bulk. <laughs> Secondly, I am experiencing severe cramping from a particularly intensive leg workout today. Max, listen to yourself. This is insane what you are doing to your body. I'm going to live without apology, without complaint, without compliance. Let me guess who your quote. I know it's not Schopenhauer. <laughs> feel this, Mother. I don't want to feel that, Max. <laughs> Max, you have gone too far. It's one thing to put on a little weight. Fill out. But can't you see how extreme you have taken this thing? I can't stand to look at you. <laughs> huh. What's extreme, Mother? Can't you see your own prejudice? you spent your life championing liberal causes, going out of your way to embrace people of every race, every nationality, every economic strata. You wouldn't think twice about associating with a handicapped person or a fat person or an ugly person. What does it upset you so much about my appearance? Max, you weren't born this way. Exactly. Why can't you appreciate what I made of my body? Because you look grotesque. That's your opinion. I could sit here and criticize your shape, mother, when Mother, when is the last time you exercised? <laughs> You're looking a little overweight. Max, I know you're angry about the divorce. <laughs> <laughs> angry with your father and me. I understand that. But don't take it out on yourself. That's a convenient way for you to think, Mother. It has nothing to do with you or father. I never felt better about myself. This is better. No job. Spending all your time in a gymnasium lifting weights. Maybe you should just, maybe you should start seeing someone. <laughs> if you can't talk to me, talk to someone. <laughs> your friends from college have all been calling me. Why are you forsaking them too? Arnold says if you stick around cripples, mental or physical, long enough, pretty soon you'll learn to limp. You're talking like a fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> you are a highly educated young man. Do something with your knowledge. I can speak with Professor Wiggins over at CC. I'm Club. moving to California with a friend from the gym. When? Next week. My son, the California poser. I want to understand, Max. What is it that you like about all this? It, it's, it's an ambition to create something out of yourself that, that isn't there to start. Aesthetically, I'm... I'm a sculptor playing with this form. Okay. So, so do this and get a job. Do this and get your graduate degree. I experience the world differently now. I, I live for this new feeling. I, I, I love the immediate results of lifting weights. The exhaustion, the pain, the sweat. It's real and the results are real for you and everyone else to see. I go back to school, write a paper, get an A written on the top. What does that mean, really? Everything I've done up to now has been abstract. I've been dependent on some figure of authority, a teacher, a boss, a parent, giving me a gold star for a performance well done. I've been living in an ant farm populated by people who are buried by their own conditioning and fears. I don't want to live that way anymore. This is something I can give myself. Every day I face myself in the mirror, I look at myself very carefully, and I like what I see. I'm discovering a new world, Mother, a new me. And 
I want to see how far I can take it. How much further can you go? That's part of the great adventure. I think if I stop now, I'd, I'd shrivel up and die. What about what's happening inside of all that muscle? Hmm? This isn't Max talking to me now. I don't believe what I'm hearing here. No pain, no gain. I suppose this friend you're traveling with does nothing but this nonsense all day, too. Mouse, Mousy is also a painter. Not everyone has a trust fund. <laughs> well, at least Mousy has something more to his life. What does he paint? Figures, no doubt. <laughs> uh, banks, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to understand, Max. I will do what I can to be supportive. Thanks, Mother. Would you begin by doing me a favor and store some of these boxes? Okay. Remember when I gave you this? We were... Uh, uh, please, give this box of clothes to the Salvation Army. Why? I outgrew them long ago. Mother nods her head and tosses the sweater back into the box. Segway. Max on the streets of New York. This time, however, he's the one who bumps into a young man scattering his papers into the air. By virtue of his size, people now go, now go out of their way to avoid Max. And when he is approached by Crazy Al, who begins to hassle him, he responds, If you value your life, little man, I suggest you get out of my way. Crazy Al retreats. 